Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today sa video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa, sorry, nakababa, solving rational equations and inequalities. Pero bago ko simulan ang video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na muna ang napindu Pindutin na dyan ang like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago pa lang kayo sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin nyo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. So, tandaan niyo, 'di ba, na i-discuss ko na sa inyo na ang rational equations ay in fractional form siya, pa fraction siya. So, we deal with numerator and denominator and katulad ng procedure natin, we when we are having the operations on fractions, ganun din yung i-apply natin sa rational equations and inequalities. Yun nga lang, medyo mas konting komplikado because you have to deal with the variables and the exponents. Pero wag mag-alala, kayang-kaya yan, ha? Makinig lang mabuti. Now, for this one, we have here example number 2. Hindi ko na pinakita yung example number 1 kasi alam ko na dyan naman na yung solution para lang mas malaki na yung space natin. And I provided a parallel uh, example para masundan ninyo at masagutan ninyo yung problem ninyo dyan sa module. No? Okay, suppose I have here 4 over x squared minus 4 minus 1 over x minus 2 equals 1 half. So, obviously, we have 3 Ah, uh, fractions here. And then, the operation is subtraction. Mga anak ko, remember that you can only subtract fractions if they have this same denominator. Since in this case, x squared minus 4, x minus 2, tas pag nilipat mo yung 1 half doon, negative 1 half 2, iba rin yung denominator niya. So, we have to get the LCD. But we have to consider this one. Tingnan nyo to, oh x squared minus 4. Dumating ba sa isip nyo na pwede ba natin itong i-factor para makuha natin yung LCD? Pwede. Since this is difference of 2 squares, pwede natin siya i-factor. Anong factor niyan? O, oh, ang dami na natin napagdaan ng factoring. This is what? O, oh, sige. Suppose I have this 2. This is x. This is x. And then you have here 2. 2, and then 2, pero dapat magkaiba yung sign nila. Isang positive, isang negative. Para maging x squared minus 4 siya, kasi makakancel natin, or magiging 0 yung middle term. Okay, patunayan ko sa inyo ha, x times x. x squared, 2 times x, 2x. <coughs> Excuse me. x minus 2, negative 2x, and then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. When we add the middle term, 2x, Or when we operate the middle term, 2x minus 2x, 0 lang siya. So, ang matitira is x squared minus 4, which is our denominator for our first fraction. Meaning to say, since ang x minus 2 natin is one of our denominator in this given, ang pwede nating maging LCD ay x plus 2, And then, x minus 2. But since we have a denominator of 2 dito, para sama-sama na sila, you put here 2. So, pag pinag-multiply mo yung tatlo na yan, okay, mak uh, yan yung magiging LCD natin para makombine natin silang tatlo. Okay, now for the second Uh, step, multiply both sides of the equation by its LCD. Ito yung LCD natin, di ba? So, we have 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. Okay, ito times natin dito sa side na ito muna. That is 4 over x squared minus 4 minus 1 over x minus 2 equals to 1 half. Tapos kung ano multiply mo dyan, i-multiply mo rin dito. 2 times x plus 2 and then x minus 2. 
Okay. So, now, paano natin gagawin nyan? Itong si 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. Eh, times mo sa 4, tapos over x squared minus 4. O, dito ko na ilalagay, ha? So, this is 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 times 4 over, kasi di ba, ito ay 1, tapos this is x squared minus 4. Para ipakita ko muna sa inyo, ha? Hindi agad ako mag-shortcut. O, sige. Anong gagawin natin dito? Dahil alam natin na si x plus 2 at x minus 2 ay siya si x squared minus 4. So, eto na to, saka ito, pwede na natin makancel. So, ang matitira na lang ay 2 times 4. Nakaka, ano ba? Nakakasabay ba mga anak, ha? Ulit, ha? Dahil alam natin na ang factor ay x squared minus 4. Ibig sabihin, pag binultiply natin si x plus 2 and x minus 2, you will have x squared minus 4. I-cancel na lang natin sila, ha? Kasi, makakancel naman talaga sila. So, we have now yung remaining, which is 2 times 4. Now, minus... Okay, if we will have naman, ito naman yung second. Ito, minultiply dito, tapos ito, imumultiply dito. So, you will have here 2 times x plus 2 and then times x minus 2. Okay, so over x minus 2. Makakancel yung x minus 2, ang matitira ay 2x plus 2. Okay, equals to, o dito madali lang naman mag-cancel. Anong mga cancel natin? Ito, saka ito. So, ang matitira natin dito ay x plus 2 and then x minus 2. Okay, now let's go to the third step. Apply, sorry, and simplify. Apply distributive property and simplify. Okay, so let's have this one. 2 times 4 is 8. Correct. Negative 2 times x. Negative 2x. Negative 2 times 2, you have positive 4. Equals to, saan ba equals si x plus 2, x minus 2? Huwag na tayong magpakahirap dyan. Kasi alam naman natin na si x plus 2 and si x minus 2 ay equals kay x squared minus 4. So, we just write here, x squared minus 4. And then, we simplify. Okay? Lipat natin tong mga to dito. So, from positive, si x squared magiging negative x squared na siya. And then, minus 2x plus 8. Ay, sorry, hindi ito positive ha. Neg sorry, 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 sorry. Negative 2 times 4, this should be negative. Okay, sorry. Ulit ha. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And then, negative 2 times 2, that's negative 4. So, we have here 8 minus 4. And then, pag nilipat natin yung isang uh, 4 dito, which is originally, originally negative 4 siya, pag lipat niya doon, positive 4 na siya. So, that will be equal to 0. So, let's solve. We have negative x squared. Okay na to. Negative 2x. Okay na to. And then, 8 minus 4 is how many? Ah, no, ito magiging 0 na lang siya. Sige na nga. 8 minus 4 is 4 plus 4. You have positive 8 equals to 0. Now, we make this positive, ha? By multiplying negative 1 para madali tayong mag-factor later on. So, negative times negative is positive x squared na. Negative times negative, that will be positive 2x na. Negative times positive, that will be negative 8 and then, 0 times negative 1, that is a 0. Okay? Now, find all the possible values of x. Ano-ano daw yung possible values ni x? Siyempre, para makuha natin, we factor, ha? O, sige, dali-dali lang mag-factor. Kayang-kaya nyo na to. x squared, that is x, and then that is x. Equals to 0. Ano ang factors ni 8 na kapag pinag-subtract natin sa isa't isa, ang magiging answer ay 2. Ba Paano ko nasabi na dapat isubtract? Kasi ang third term natin ay negative, which means ang magiging operation between them is subtraction. So, we have for 8, Tama, we have 4 and then 2. Dahil alam natin magkaiba yung sign, paano natin malalaman kung ano yung sign ng malaking number? You look at the middle term. Dahil ang middle term ay positive, ibig sabihin yung malaking number positive. And it follows na ito ay negative. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos dyan. So, x plus 4, equate na natin siya with 0. So, this is x equals to negative 4. And then, x minus 2 equals 0. So, x is equal to 2. 
Ngayon, meron tayong extraneous root dyan. Okay? Tingnan natin dito ha. We go back to the original rational equation. Ang dapat na hindi maging value ni x para <coughs> hindi maging undefined to ay ano. O, tingnan natin to. Ang nakuha kasi natin ay negative 4 and 2. Pag ito ba, nilagyan natin ng 2. Tingnan nyo to, 2 minus 2. Anong sagot? 0. Magzi-zero yung denominator na bawal na bawal mangyari, ha? Hindi pwedeng maging 0 ang ating denominator. So, ibig sabihin, may values tayo possible naman to. So, sige, ilagay natin possible. Pero, hindi niya pwedeng maging values si 2, ha? So, kung ang ilalagay natin dito, teka, kasi may checking pa tayo, tayo eh. Uh, reject the extraneous roots. So, ang i-reject ire natin dyan, ay bumaba. Teka, teka. So, we will reject, reject, x equals 2, ha? Hindi pwedeng maging equals 2. Now, paano natin i-check? E di substitute natin yung negative 4. So, by checking, O, isulat natin ha. So, we have 4 over x squared minus 4 minus 1 over x minus 2 ba yan? Equals 1 half. Tingnan nga natin kung tama tayo. Okay, tama. Tama eh. 4 minus, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. 4 over x squared minus 4 minus 1 over x minus 2 equals 1 half. 1 half. So, we substitute negative 4. So, you will have 4 over negative 4 squared minus a 4 minus 1 over that's negative 4 minus 2 equals 1 half. So, this will become 4 over what is uh, negative 4 squared? 16, diba? Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16 minus 4. That is 12, correct. Minus, this is 1 over what is negative 4 minus 2. Lagay ko nga dito. This is correct, negative 6. Pero dahil may negative na tayo dito, gawin na natin siyang positive. Shortcut na to mga anak ha. And then we have here, ano sagot, sagot ko dito? 6 equals to 1 half. Ito question mark, dapat mag-equal sila ng 1 half. Pag nag-equal sila ng 1 half, eh di tama tayo. Mamaya ka ng reject ka, wala kami space. Okay, so anong LCD ng 12 and 6? Obviously, we have 12, diba? 12 divided by 12 is 1 times 4, you have 4. And then, plus 12 divided by 6 is 2 times 1, you have 2. Is that equal to 1 half? Oh, let's see. 4 plus 2, <coughs> that's 6 over 12. Is that equal to 1 half? Pag ni lowest term ang 6 over 12, that is 1 half. And that is equal to also 1 half. So, we are correct. Yung value natin na nasolve natin as negative 4 is correct. So, x is equal to negative 4. And then, we have to reject x equals 2. And that's it mga anak ko. Sana naintindihan nyo ang video na ito. Ngayon kung naintindihan nyo ang video na to, please i-comment yan sa ating comment section ha. Mga anak, please help me up this video by leaving a comment dyan sa ating comment section. Kahit thank you, kahit smiley, or basta kahit ano, basta mag-iwan kayo dyan ng comment ay malaking turong para sa video natin. And please don't forget to share it to your classmates kasi baka nababaliw na sila sa rational equation. Okay, sunod natin dito ang rational equation inequalities, pero please visit our Facebook page Love Math TV. Pa-follow naman mga anak. Sige na. And laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!